Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, my first video of 2023. And I figure what better way to start off the year doing the first video than by doing a response to the one and only JC. You guys know him, the flip side here in the VC. Uh, he put up a really cool thread a little while ago and I decided to kind of jump on board. Um, you know, after the holidays and, you know, a bit of traveling, family in town, all of that, you know, kind of getting back into a regular routine and just kind of sat down this afternoon, started watching a few videos and wanted to do a response to JC's uh, new thread, which is intro to hair metal, um, which was basically, I think he said one of his subscribers or something like that had mentioned or asked him to do a video about that. And so JC decided to turn it into a, like a thread video. And it, it really is kind of that, you know, just share what you think are some of the essentials that people should have or, you know, check out as far as the, the glam slash hair metal goes. And I use those words interchangeably, so keep that in mind as I'm going through the video. Glam and hair metal are the same thing to me. Um, and just kind of, uh, you know, show some that you think are essentials, show some things that maybe aren't as well known. And I know a number of people have done videos. Uh, I watched Gary's over at Physical Format Rock and Roll a little while ago. Uh, I know I've watched JC's. I know Chris Profe did one. I'm pretty sure Aaron already did his. I'm going to watch those two right after I, I do this one and a number of others too. So I thought maybe what I would do is put a little twist just so I'm not repeating the same thing that you know people have already shown. So instead of saying essential albums, I thought about this as I'm making an essential mixtape for someone. And so these are these are all songs that I would want on that mixtape to say this is an essential hair slash glam mixtape. All right. So that's how I'm thinking about it. It's more from a song perspective. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's just kind of jump right into it and we'll kind of go from there. So one of the songs I'm going to throw on there is going to come off of this bad boy right here, which is the Bullet Boys. You know, and I got to go with a smooth up in you. I mean, that song has to be on there. Just one of the absolute coolest choruses of a song, I think, from that time frame. The like the the, the slow, groovy nature of the riff, and of course the the uh, you know just just kind of the, the the way they sing "Smooth Up in You" with kind of you know the multiple layers. It's just it's just there's something sleazy about it. There's something just like very very just it just sums up that glam slash hair period to me so that song is definitely going on the mixtape you know slaughter stick it to you another absolute classic album from that time frame a number of things you could pick by slaughter but of course i'm going with uh, up all night again just another one of those big kind of party choruses type of thing you know that that same type of consistent um you know, nasty type of glamish hair metalish guitar riffs throughout the song. Just another fantastic track that has to go on there. Uh, you could pick a bunch of different things by this band, of course. Uh, Poison, open up and say ah. I mean, they were one of the bands that personified that whole glam thing. Um, but instead of going with something off of Look What the Cat Dragged In, you know, I decided to go with uh, Nothing But a Good Time off of This Is What I'm Gonna Throw on there. And just mainly because you know, stuff off of Look What The Cat Dragged In was awesome. That's probably still the Poison album I listen to the most. But it's just kind of, there, there's something about nothing but a good time that's that's kind of bigger. You know, it has a little, little more of the, the heavier guitar riffs, the filling of the space. It's more of the kind of song that a band like that would play in front of 20, 30,000 people and really kind of fill up the room. Where I think something like, uh, you know, nothing but a good time, or sorry, um, uh, Talk Dirty To Me. It's just not quite a song that 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 does that same thing. So anyway, I'm just kind of telling you the madness that was going on through my mind as I was deciding what I picked and why. So uh, yeah, so nothing but a good time is going in that mixtape. And this is one you could pick a number of different things off of. I mean, just an absolute classic there, which is Back for the Attack by Dawkin. Um, one of my favorite albums from back in the day and everything from the first track of kiss and kiss of death all the way down to dream warriors all fantastic uh if i had to pick one to put on the mixtape i have to go with i think kiss of death uh the guitar intro just the you know amazing vocals uh it just it really kind of sums up what made Dawkins awesome to me but uh again there's so many other things on here that is just absolutely amazing 
Uh, so really, really cool stuff there that has to go on. And there's no way you can make an essential hair or glam album without having something by this band on there, which of course is Whitesnake. And really kind of, you know, to take your pick. Um, Fool for your loving, slow and easy. I mean, just there's tons of stuff you can pick. But uh, there's no way I, I could pass Still of the Night. Um, I mean, again, th that that song just per personifies something that that made all the whole, the whole hair stuff magical. And even to this day, I mean, you could be driving along in your car. It comes on the XM radio all the time. And that song just never loses its punch. Like it hits just as hard all these years later every time I hear it. So with all the other White Snake stuff that's out there, I just I could not skip, you know, not putting Still of the Night on that tape. Arguably my favorite album in this genre period is that that baby right there, Stay Hungry by Twisted Sister. I mean, this this album is the one that really kind of kicked me into glam hair stuff back in the early 80s, like 84, I think 85 was when I discovered the album. I think it came out in 84. But uh, everything from the very first track down to the last track is awesome. Um, you know, definitely more well known for probably the bigger tracks like We're Not Gonna Take It or I Wanna Rock. But I mean, The Beast, Don't Let Me Down, The Price, Burn in Hell, everything on this album is fantastic so even though it's probably the song i don't go to the most frequently uh, i think i would have to put i want to rock on that essential uh glam slash hair tape that i was making for someone so that's what we're going to go with off of that but i mean just that album is just still my gold right there uh again so many so many you can pick by this this band but I'm going with Invasion of Privacy and the reason I'm going with this album is to take the song lay it down off of this because I've said it before I'll say it again and quite frankly this is through metal through thrash through glam hair across the board the intro guitar lick to lay it down is the nastiest guitar lick ever laid down on a hard rock metal or hair metal glam metal type of album and I know that's saying a lot across the board, but there, there's there's just nothing that kicks in more perfect than that, that introduction guitar lick to lay it down. I mean, not only is the guitar tone perfection, but it, I mean, it's groovy, it's it's sexy, it's nasty, it's it's drunk, it's party, it's it's like it's just like all of these emotions are wrapped up into the perfect nature of that riff. And um yeah, there's very few things I'll, I'll ever say this is the best of that intro lick. Yes. So, of course, that's going on my mixtape. Uh, another one here, which a band I'm sure a lot that are into the genre know, but I think just kind of overall, maybe not a huge or widely known band, but uh, Loudness. This is Hurricane Eyes. This is from 1987, and it's their the track uh, Rock and Roll Gypsy love that same thing kind of that big stadium party uh glam hair type of thing if you're not familiar with that track definitely check it out it's my absolute favorite by that band so rock and roll gypsy's going on the mixtape kingdom come you know another big um big album from 1988 and of course the song off of here get it on which was huge so that has to go on the mixtape uh, cool thing about that song is it's definitely a little more kind of slow and groovy. And I think it's also really cool that the bass tends to carry the riff more so than the lead guitar does. Even though the bass and the lead guitar are kind of playing the same thing during the, the chorus, it really is the bass that's leading the guitar riff. And that's something I guess you didn't see maybe as much back in the day because it was all about the, you know, the big, bright, shiny guitar up front. Uh, shimmery I should say guitar up front uh, so yeah that was kind of different and get it on definitely has to go on that tape you know one of the most essential albums that you'd have to have in this category so you have to take a song off of this and actually I think with this one it actually deserves to have two songs taken off of it so you can't do an essential hair metal uh, mixtape without putting come on feel the noise and metal health I mean you, you have to it's just like it's like written in the Constitution um, next here, Winger and the Heart of the Young. You know, say what you want about Winger. My boy made some, the group I should say made some awesome music. 
and the entire first side on this album is golden from you know can't get enough loosen up miles away easy come easy go as much as i want to take easy come easy go i think i gotta go with can't get enough uh, same thing that, that intro is just one that draws in what made the the hair and glam seem so awesome just groovy pounding bass pounding drums uh the big chorus thing again the big gigantic open guitar riffs that just kind of you know cover everything killer track killer album so uh, can't get enough is going on the mixtape i think i have what five more songs to put on there striper again another band there's so much stuff you can pick uh but i'm going with uh, always there for you that's always been my favorite song by them and so that's what i'm going to throw on the mixtape so really great stuff there and then we will move on to what is my arguably my favorite Kiss album, which is Crazy Nights. Uh, and again, from that 80s glam slash hair stage, bunch of things you could choose. I would have no problem putting Lick It Up on the mixtape. I'd have no problem putting Heavens on Fire on the mixtape. Definitely would not have a problem putting Tears Are Falling. I actually came this close to choosing that. But uh, the song I got to go with for my mixtape off of this album is going to be Turn On The Night. Um, that is one of my top five favorite kiss songs of all time and it's just something about that song just has such an amazing positive energy to it like when i hear it and when it, it when it just kicks in and it starts doing its thing there's just something about it that's it's the glam thing but there's something about it that's also the the happy thing it's like it's a party thing it's also there's a, like an innocence piece and it's there's just something that's like it, it's something really pure about it it's just really Let's have fun for a few minutes. Like, you know, like, there not have to be a bunch of crazy this, not, you know, having to, you don't have to go get drunk or you don't have to do, like, let's just have some fun for a minute. It's just something about that song draws all those emotions out. And I freaking love it. Like I said, it's one of my top five favorite Kiss songs of all time. So uh, that's definitely going on my mixtape. Uh, I don't think I have to explain this one. I mean, Lita, Lita Ford, Kiss Me Deadly. That's definitely going on the tape. And I, again, I think that more than deserves its spot on there. So many you can pick by by this band. But I I, I really think that, uh, again, Essential Hair, I think, I think this is probably the best culmination. Um, you know, because I've always felt that Crew was one of those bands that even though they were in the glam hair metal type of phrase with the way that they riffed and as hard as as tommy used to pound that kit and everything else they actually had that genius of being able to punch just as hard as the thrash and metal bands out there but could do it with the glam melodies and everything that made the glam glam so accessible uh, they were one of the few bands that really brought those things together kind of perfectly because when you sit back and listen to Mars his riffs from front to back I mean you're not telling me that like all that stuff in thrash was just so much more than what Mars was bringing to the table there was more rhythms over here there was more melody over here and all of that but just as far as pure nastiness of riffs I mean but anyway I'm doing a Motley Crue video now instead of a essentials so the song i'm going to pull off of here is dr feel good again i think it just kind of sums up what made this album perfect uh you could just as easily put kickstart my heart same old situation and blah 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 but yeah you got to go with dr feel good on the mixtape and the very last one little wasp here and this is last the last command um i think in a i think jc showed or talked about um uh, Want to be somebody was a song that he talked about on from Wasp, which again could easily take the place of what I'm picking here. But I'm going with Wild Child off of Last Command. Again, I think it's kind of another great one that that would fit right in on that tape. So, so there you go. That's kind of the the little essentials mixtape that I would put together. You know, keeping out all uh, ballads here, so you kind of notice that. But. Uh, yeah, all awesome stuff, all songs I love to death, all songs that I think really made that genre so amazing. And so, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'll try to remember to put the link down below so you can go check out JC's video and do a response to the thread as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Let's make 2023 a good one. And uh, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, VC.